Welcome back guys. Welcome back to my Roblox series. How are you doing? We're playing, uh, we're playing, today we're playing the Tim Horton speed run in Roblox. And uh, if you haven't been following along, well, uh, let me just say, Roblox, you know, if you've seen one level, one, one obby level, you've seen them all. Today we're we're collecting some some coffee beans. Oh well, we got our first death. That's okay. We're collecting coffee beans and and timbits and donuts. And I wanted to share some of my my experiences with Tim Hortons. Some of my good experiences. Some of my bad. Oh shoot. It's okay. We're gonna we're gonna make it. We're gonna go through get through this obby course. You know. Don't worry. I'm gonna try and avoid these chocolate glazed donuts. So I can't tell you, I can't say I uh, remember my first Tim Hortons. I think, uh, you know, basically you get handed your first double double right out of the womb as a Canadian. Um. I do remember my first donut because it did make me sick. Uh, I have subsequently basically gotten sick every other time that I've had a Tim Hortons donut. But that's just a uh, an effect of Tim Hortons donuts. I will say I do try a lot of Tim Hortons donuts because uh, you know they do have a habit, a knack even of making compelling Tim Hortons. Oh, there goes my coffee beans. Tim Hortons, they, they have a knack of making novel donut concepts, you know? Uh, pumpkin spice, pumpkin pie at one point. A lot of pumpkin sprinkles. No, that's just a normal donut. Um, gotta, gotta collect these coffee beans down here. I wonder if I can, can I use like a coin magnet? What is this? What do these buttons do? Um, blueberry. Have we had blueberry? Blueberry fritters used to be a thing. I think they still are. I don't know. Fritters, they kind of chilled out on the fritters. What are these? What are we doing? Oh, wow. I have a camera change. Wow. Can't I can't really move my camera now. Oh, are we, are we all? Oh, there goes my beans. Uh, I like how my character has uh, just a stack of coffees. Oh no, this is uh, this is gonna be challenging. So yeah, I mean, I, I you know, in the spirit of this video, I've also got my my coffee. If you want to know how I get my Tim Hortons coffee, it's a large, one cream, three sweetener. Um, it's a dark roast. Uh, basically the only way I can stomach Tim Hortons coffee. Oh, can we? Oh, we can. It's a ladder. It's just a ladder. You don't have to jump on it at all. Oh. Okay. Oh, I would have liked to have known that earlier. That's fine. I'm a very avid uh, Roblox player, as you all know. So, uh, I should have known that one, to be honest. But yeah. Um, I, uh, I'm not a huge fan of Tim Hortons coffee. I think uh, it's mostly repulsive swill water. I kinda, I know there are people who are like avid uh, defenders of Tim Hortons coffee. They take it as a point of Canadian pride, I think, to support, to, to, to you know, it's like, oh, well, I'm, I'm Canadian. So, of course I drink Tim Hortons coffee. It's either that or um, McDonald's coffee for some reason, but I think that's you know not exclusive to uh, Canada. No, no. no. This obstacle course is actually pretty challenging. I gotta gotta hand it to whatever intern made uh, end up ended up making this level. We. Um. I find uh, Tim Hortons to be pretty bad in general, but 
it is a necessary evil for the most part. You know, like most consumption under capitalism, it's mostly necessary as a form of convenience. And, uh, you know, I, I think I'd say 60% of the time I'm drinking coffee, I'm doing so for the taste. And then that last Tim Hortons percent, as I like to call it, is uh, basically it's done out of necessity for a nice caffeine hit. Some of this is remember reminding me of, um, was it Dr. Takashi's Castle or something? I can't remember. It was called something else. MXC. Most Extreme Elimination Challenge. That's some nostalgia for you. And I don't know if it's nostalgia as a Canadian. It's not, not really exclusive to Canada. Oh, God. I wonder if you can win prizes when you play this game. I hope the prize is not a Tim Hortons coffee. Um, you know, so, you know, you know my, my, my drink of choice now. It's a, in case you missed it, dark roast, large dark roast, one cream, three sweetener. I would say it's a pretty easy drink to get right, but co Tim Hortons is like kind of permanently gaslit myself into thinking I actually like a double double, two cream, two sweetener, because I generally just get that. When, despite my having ordered a one cream, uh, three sweetener, dark roast. I'm not, I don't want to be one of those people that, uh, you know, has to have their coffee a very specific way. But certainly, if I don't, uh, don't have it that way, my, my body will reject it. Is that the entire course? Was that it? I had way more. Is this the next course or is this the same course? Let's try and beat our time. How about that? I certainly could do better. Um, yeah, I have, I've, I have felt pretty, pretty permanently gaslit. Sometimes I actually get my coffee and it's correct and I uh, don't believe it because I'm like, this tastes like it has sugar in it and I don't really want to start my day out with several spoonfuls of sugar despite what uh, Mary Poppins will have you believe. It's, it, it does not make the medicine go down. This uh, chocolate glazed is really dangerous. But yeah, I will try their novelty donuts pretty much whenever they come out with one because they are novel. And I'm a sucker for a novelty, unfortunately. Um, you know, I will, I will try a novel. Um, I'm trying to remember the last one. I've been keto for a while, so I can't really do that anymore. I have played with the idea of like buying a donut, taking one bite, and then throwing the rest away. That just seems needlessly consumptive. And, uh, you know, I just like, that's all I really want. I just want the one bite to tell me that it's bad because it is bad. It's horrible. Tim Hortons donuts are some of the worst baked good you can put in your mouth, I think. I'm sure there's, I don't know, what kind of other baked goods you can put in your mouth that are as, um, as bad as Tim Hortons. I'm trying to think of it. I don't know, donuts have been kind of spoiled for me because uh, I, had a, I had a donut, there was a cafe in Vancouver, which, you know, I know I'm exceedingly spoiled here to, to be able to go somewhere else and have a baked good in a cafe, but they they made like fresh day of donuts and uh, that was just incredible. And I've never been able to enjoy donuts as much because like this, this is not going to live up to anything, to, to the extent at which I have enjoyed a donut. And uh, you know, like I, I, I guess I have a philosophy when it comes to desserts and like treats in general which is like um you know return on investment and that's not just talking about the money that's talking about the calories is it worth it will my body thank me probably not but you know a treat every once in a while is a not not a bad thing 
necessarily. Oh my god. You wanna, you wanna make, if you're gonna have something bad, you gotta make sure it's good, you know? Make sure it's worth it. For me, what's really worth it is a nice almond croissant. That's, or just almond pastry in general. I, I live near a nice bakery and can get myself an almond pastry. I'm privileged in that sense. They'll cost a little bit more, but what's, what's, uh, what's a price on comfort, you know? Well, we're certainly going to beat my previous record, but I don't think I'm going to, I don't think this is a, a record worth boasting. Come on. Oh, we're not, we're not done yet. We're almost done. Um, but yeah, I, I really have a bad relationship with Tim Hortons. I'm trying to think of a single thing I could say nice about Tim Hortons, to be honest. I will say this, uh, this level is pretty well designed. This obby course. Um, it, I've enjoyed this obby course more than possibly any, anything else from Tim Hortons. I'm wondering, is there, is there like a secret behind that coffee waterfall? Hold on, we have to check. I've got to check if there's uh, something hidden behind that coffee waterfall. Because there's, you see that arrangement of platforms just looks very suspicious. Oh, dang. Hey, you found my coffee hideout. Impressive. If you're a Tim's fan like me, this coffee... Well, um, hey there. Still there, shouldn't you make your way back to the track? Good luck. I, I would like to know what you, the rest of the thing that you were saying. We got a coin magnet. I got a Timbit, there's a Timbit bounce maybe hidden somewhere in this level that I wouldn't mind finding. Cause you gotta, you gotta do the Timbit bounce. That's just necessary, right? Well, no, not, none of this is necessary. Are they coins or are they coffee beans? I thought they were coffee beans. Okay, we gotta do one more cause um, my, my score was not really that much better. I'm trying to see if, I, do I use the coffee magnet or does it just work? Does it just Todd Howard work, you think? Oh God. Current run plus six, total wallet. This will be, this will be the last run. Um, I think my favorite thing that, oh, you know, the, the coin magnet is just working. That's nice. I think the, my favorite thing that T Tim Hortons has ever done to me personally is, uh, I don't know, not, not make my order and then charge me anyway. Um, they've done that on occasion, actually, a few times. Uh, just for the record, because I don't want people to get the wrong idea. I don't, I don't, uh, blame any of the, the people who actually work at Tim Hortons. I blame Tim Hortons itself as a function, as just being very disorganized. They've also just had a lot of problems with their app. Um, their app in general has been a nightmare for me. It's a great way of just, like, getting your coffee without entering. I mean, I'm still trying to distance myself in general. Um, so it's, it's a good way of avoiding a line full of people. But uh, it, it's also a great way of getting your coffee the way you don't like it. In, in my case, that would mean with sugar. Someone's gonna comment on, you know, having coffee with sugar is probably not their preferred way of having coffee. Oh no. Oh, they're all my beans. That was a lot of beans I just lost. I'm wondering uh, what is the purpose of the beans? I'm wondering if maybe I can get some Tim's, Tim's Hortons, this is, uh, merchandise 
for my character to wear. Like, for maybe they could permanently wear, uh, hold a tray of four coffees. That would, that would be good. I wouldn't mind getting a Tim Hortons. You know, they, they Tim Hortons did their Tim, um, Justin Bieber thing. If you don't, if, you know, if you're in the U.S., you don't have Tim Hortons. You don't know necessarily what Tim Hortons is. Um, well, they, they did a thing with Justin Bieber, you see. Justin Bieber likes Tim Hortons, apparently. And uh, he likes he likes his brew cold and his Timbits dusty. He likes his Timbits but dusty. Also busty, honestly. They'd, they'd be dusting and they'd be bussing. Um, but, uh, yeah, if you get a Tim Biebs Timbit, then they basically are the same as a regular Timbit, except they got little crusty things on them. Little, little bits and pieces kind of around the outside. And it makes them look disgusting. Also, they taste exactly the same as a regular Timbit. They, they really don't taste any different. I will say, okay, I, I, you know what? I can think of a couple of good things to say about Tim Hortons. I do like their crispy chicken sandwich, although they've had a tenuous relationship with the crispy chicken sandwich because, um, I don't know, they, Tim Hortons knows how to ruin a good thing, I guess. But they tried to divide the crispy chicken sandwich into two crispy chicken sandwiches. And what I mean by that is they turned a regular crispy chicken sandwich into two smaller chicken sliders. They're not the same. I like my ciabatta bun or whatever, I, you know, the brochet bun. It's my, that's a good bun and I don't like to you know, I don't like compromise. I don't, I don't believe in half measures. Just like, uh, what's his name from, from Mr. Bad. Um, and, uh, I just think that dividing a, your, your chicken sandwich into two small chicken sandwiches is just too much compromise for me. So what can we buy here? We have 250 beans. We can buy some power-ups. Gravitational pull of the Donut brings nearby coffee beans toward you as you run by. Donut glaze guard. Reality is that much sweeter when you are not affected by hazards. Well, we want some swag. I want a Tim's Run Club long sleeve. All right, so we got that. Um, I also want a donut. Ice cap hat, oh my God. Yo, there's a Timbit pet though. Yo, we gotta get the Timbit hat. Oh, that's actual money. This is like Roblox, uh, insufficient funds. Well, what is this for then? Oh, I see. So these power-ups cost beans, but the swag costs Roblox. Hmm. You know, if I was a slightly more influential YouTuber, I would love to just, you know, ironically, but unironically buy uh, some swag. That would be nice. We gotta buy the Timbits Bounce. I'm gonna try the Timbits Bounce. Uh, and we'll, we'll buy some of these. Let's buy all of them. Why not? Let's try and get a really good score and then... And then, uh, we'll be good. So, speed boost. Oh god, it's already bad. Oh no, and I died. Cool. All right, well, we, I gotta buy another B speed boost. What does the Timbits bounce do, I wonder? Um, so, yeah, crispy chicken sandwich, really like it. That's That, that was the takeaway. Um, also, I really like the birthday cake Timbits. They're like the best thing. I feel like Tim Horton should just do a birthday cake donut. I'm amazed, honestly, that they haven't. They've tried various combinations of the birthday cake thing. They did a birthday cake donut, I guess, but it was a dream donut. So the dream donut is just um, an absolute 
disaster of baked confection nightmares. Uh, it's it's like a regular donut, only evil. <laughs> it's it really it's not a dream donut. It's a nightmare donut. It uh, it's basically imagine a regular Tim Tim Hortons donut. I have to specify Tim Hortons donut. Oh, we can we can double jump. No, that that's what the Timbits bounce is. Yeah, imagine a regular Tim Hortons donut, except oh god, the Tim Timbit bounce is actually doing me dirty right now. Um, except it's filled with some kind of horrible cream, like you know, absolutely blood sugar peaking cream, um, right in your veins. Like it, it just it's the worst tasting thing I can imagine. Um, I, I will say I liked the, uh, I think it was a creme brulee donut. I can't remember what it was. I, I you know, I, 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 like, I'm a sucker for novelty. I try them every time. I try the dream donuts in the hope that somehow it will not disappoint. And it does. It does every time. So we, we're going to use our speed boost now. I think I just stole um, someone's beans. Oh, you can buy, you can probably buy more than one power. Why is the camera so bad right now? What, why, what, hmm. Well, I guess it wouldn't be a Tim Hortons experience if something wasn't a little bit jank. Um, so yeah, birthday cake Timbits, actually great. I love them because they are uncomplicated. Tim Hortons cannot be trusted, honestly, with a real novelty. They, they, you know, they'll, they'll mess it up somehow. They add too much, too much stuff going on. You know, pumpkin spice donut. I honestly just would like it to be a normal donut with some like pumpkin spice orange neon orange kind of uh, icing, that'd be fine. Uh, maybe a little bit of nutmeg hidden in the dough there, but uh, they overcomplicate it. You know, they add st stuff, like pine nuts or something, I don't know. It's they, they try and do something fancy. Tim Hortons is not fancy. Tim Hortons is the embodiment of um, base vanilla. Vanilla is fine. Vanilla can be great in its time and place, but we're gonna I have to use some of these power-ups. Otherwise, what's the point? You know. Um. So, oh god, this is awful. Yeah, I, I Tim Hortons truly cannot be trusted with anything more complicated than a small ball of donut dough with a couple of sprinkles. Um, I do like the birthday cake Timbits. I miss them. You know, it's the one one thing I do like about Tim Hortons. And the crispy chicken sandwich, of course. But uh, they kind of ruined that. I don't even know if the crispy chicken sandwich is still on offer. I feel like they were like, you know, we've altered the terms of our agreement. Pray we do not alter them further. And the crispy chicken sandwich is no longer on offer. Um, they also used to do egg bites, <clears throat> like spinach egg bites. Those were actually decent. Those were really nice. Um, and I really wish they had them now as someone who's keto. Wow, we almost got the perfect 4444 there. We got a couple more beans, but I think, I think the novelty here is pretty much worn off. I don't know if there's, I have any other Tim Hortons information to pass on but if tim hortons wants to sponsor this video i uh i wouldn't say no i wouldn't even say no to a, a tim's card if you want to do that uh, i just you know one cream three sweetener dark roast i'd appreciate it um pass hard pass on the uh tim's cold brew sorry the tim, the beebs cold brew pass on that not a huge fan of cold brew also pass on the beebs Timbits, Tim Biebs, those, those can go straight to hell, honestly. And um, uh, other than that, 
thank you very much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, definitely hit that like button and consider subscribing for more content like this, maybe. Who knows? <laughs> maybe there's more Roblox in the future. God can only say. Take it easy. See you next time.